Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today I think I have a pretty sweet one I wanna share with you. So if you remember not too long ago, we took a look at the Analog Super NT. Pretty sweet system. It's a Super Nintendo FPGA based clone console. Does a lot of amazing stuff. I'm really in love with this thing. I love the Super Nintendo. And Analog, they do a lot of cool stuff, man. They're coming out with the Mega SG, which is the FPGA based Sega Genesis that comes out in April. Already put my money down, can't wait for that thing. Previously, they did the NT Mini and the NT. Missed out on those, but damn, really wish I didn't. But recently, they announced that they were putting out a little special limited edition of the Super NT. Only a thousand units made. And I was like, what? Let me check this out. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. And I have it right here, boxed up, fresh, ready to be opened up and taken a look at. So what this is, is actually a collaboration with Ghostly International. Ghostly International is an independent record label. They deal with electronic music. They have a lot of artists signed to them. Um, so they worked with Analog to do this special edition version of the system, very limited, like I said, only a thousand units. It has a different color, some little graphics on there. But the other cool things they did was is they commissioned some of their artists to put some uh, little special boot sequence sounds. So there's seven of them to be exact. And they also got Phil Fish back into it to do a little special animation for the boot sequence. I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, it does come with its own little paired controller that you can only get with this system. Um, I think that's pretty cool. The system does fetch a little premium over you know, the basic models, um, but I think it's not really that much of a premium when you consider that it comes with that controller and the retro receiver. Because if you wanted one before, you had to buy it separately and it was like 40 bucks from 8-bit dough, but they're pretty damn sweet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox this thing, take a look at it. I'm super excited. I, I really love the Super Nintendo, really love analog and what they do. But we're gonna unbox it, take a look at it, boot it up, you know, see what the differences are, but that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to share this thing with you guys because I thought it was flipping sweet. So let's go ahead, dive up close and unbox this beast. Okay guys, so here it is, the Ghostly International Super MT and its matching controller. Let's start with the controller first, screw it. I kind of wish you could get these controllers separately, but I understand, you know, being part of a limited edition bundle, but it would be nice to have, you know, a pair of them, right? I wish they would have gave you the option to buy one. That would have been cool. Oh, the staticky, staticky plastic, get off me. So here it is. I mean, the, the box is the box, very basic looking stuff. Whoa, don't really want to, do too much looking at it, but it does have Ghostly's website on there. Um, don't know if that's gonna focus, but it does have Ghostly's website. It is marked uh, Ghostly on the side with their logo, thought that was pretty cool. Ooh, and here it is, the 8-Bitto SN30. Really love these controllers. Pretty nice stuff. Makes me really wish I would have got the uh, the white Mega SG. Ah, and then we do get the uh, the matching retro receiver in white. Then we do get a white charging cable and our little instruction manual. Pretty cool stuff. We don't really need that right now. Now, the awesomeness. I mean, this, this is pretty awesome too. There's no denying that. But let's go ahead and open this up. This same thing has the, uh, the ghostly name on there and a little branding. Pretty cool stuff. In this package, it did come with the, uh, the envelope with the Super Turrican uh, box, but I've already opened that on camera before. Really no point in looking at that again. Get out of here. Oh, can't wait. Let's let's take a look. Ooh, there she is. Oh my god, I need to cancel my Mega SG and get the white one. 
to match this. Wow. It has the Ghostly International icon on there. Pretty sweet stuff. All white system. Bottom is all white. Has the analog, the analog cross ghostly icon there. Really cool. Man, I'm, I'm digging the way this one looks. This looks really sick. <laughs> really cool stuff. Let's see what else is in here. A little uh, pamphlet talking about Super Turrican. Uh, welcome to Analog. Celebrate and explore the history of video games with the respect it deserves. That is for sure. What was in here? I'm pretty sure the... Uh, uh, we got the, uh, the power... I'm not going to take them out, but the power cable and uh, HDMI. Kind of wish they were white, but that's all right. I mean, not a big deal, but it would have been kind of neat, like how the uh, the Neo Geo Christmas Edition, everything was red, <laughs> including all the cables. Would have been nice if this was too, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I typically don't even use the cables that come with these things because I have so many others, so why bother, right? But let's go ahead and plug this in and uh, take a look at some of those boot sequences. I'm really curious to see that and how that, that looks. But definitely cool little system. I can't complain. I'm not seeing any imperfections or anything weird with it. Just really looks sweet to me. Super happy to have bought this, but yeah, damn. I, I wanna get the, the white Mega SG now, dang it. So okay, let's go ahead and plug it in, take a look. Okay guys, so we've got the system booted up. I just wanted to check out the user interface, see if there's anything different that I noticed um, before I show you the little boot sequence. Uh, the boot sequence, pretty cool, um, animated by Phil Fish, and then you'll randomly get a cool little jingle from those seven different artists um, from Ghostly International. It's actually pretty cool. I'll play through all seven of them in a moment here. They're only a few seconds each, so it's, it's not too much to sit through. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look. I don't really see too much going on in the menus as far as anything different. Um, the background, obviously, we have that analog cross ghostly icons back there, so that's really the main difference. Um, let's go ahead and go into the settings and see if we see anything else. Uh, doesn't really look like it so far. No, I mean, we're getting all the same options. I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine they would do too much of anything here, uh, changing this up. Let's see, startup options. All the same stuff, no options it looks like to change, you know, if you play just a specific song or something. So that's all right, though. Let's go ahead and go and see about. So, okay, version 4.6 firmware as of November 14th, 2018. So this is a fresh new firmware then, because the previous, the one that's available publicly right now is 4.5. And that released some months ago, I believe back in summer, maybe? So 4.6, I'm, I'm not 100% what's up with that. Um, maybe the 4.6 is just because of the, you know, additions of the ghostly stuff. Maybe the next publicly available version will be 4.7. Um, and this one's just a special one for this. I'm not 100% uh, if there's anything else, because I haven't seen any documentation here. So th that's pretty interesting, 4.6 firmware. Cool, <laughs> I can't really complain. I'm not 100% if there's any other differences with that, but we've spent plenty of time with the Super NT, messing around with games and all that. I'm still gonna be doing content using this system um, and you know the Mega SG when that comes out in the future. Can't wait for that, really can't wait. I'm so excited for that thing. Um, looking to get a Sega CD, a clean one, because you can attach the Sega CD to the Mega SG. That's gonna be sick playing Sega CD through FPGA hardware through HDMI. Man, dreams do come true, right? So let me go ahead and play through the little boot sequences for you guys. No commentary, just let them play through. It's like a half a minute for all of them to play. So let's go ahead and do that now.
So there you go. I think those are pretty neat. Cool little addition to this special limited system. Only a thousand units made. Um, not 100% on how many are available now. I'm sure they will sell out if they haven't sold out already. A thousand units isn't going to last forever. Um, but I'm sure, you know, the interest on this kind of thing, most of the people who wanted a Super NT have probably already got one. Or if they were looking for one for Christmas, they may have already ordered one since it's already the start of December, right? But, man, those collectors out there, the crazy people like me who just love this kind of stuff, um, will probably be eating this up and buying them. So I'm happy I bought this. I think it's pretty neat. Definitely want to find out if I can cancel my Mega SG because I have the Japanese one um, and get the white one instead because I think that would pair awesomely with this. Or maybe I'll just wait until I have the money and buy it anyway um, because I do have the Japanese Super NT. So I think that'll pair cool with the Japanese Mega SG and then just buy the white Mega SG later. I don't know, man. I don't need all these systems, but it's still pretty cool to have them paired up and matching, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me for these few moments of your time. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sweet-ass love to that notification bell. If you make a mess, that's on you guys. Can't help you with that. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out, bye bye and boom!